calling all artists from the black, indigenous, and people of color community, specifically if you are interested in murals. Applications are now open for Fresh Paint OKC Mural Project. And here with us now to learn more are co-chairs, Crystal Kay and Helen Opper. Welcome in, ladies. Thank, Thank you, you so good much morning. for having us. Great to have you. This is so exciting. We have some of the best public art here in OKC. So this is going to be a welcome addition. Who wants to give us just a brief overview a little bit of Fresh Paint and what it's all about? Sure, yeah. So Fresh Paint is a mentorship program for young emerging artists and they are paired with mentors to help them. One thing about murals is that it's often hard to get your first one. And so this is a great way for artists to get started and get that experience to kind of launch their public art career. I mean, really, it gets so many eyeballs on it, right? Yeah, it's so absolutely. cool. And this event in particular that we're going to be talking about today is specifically for the Black, Indigenous, and People of Color community. I want to ask, what made you target this specific event towards that community? Why was it necessary? I could speak to that. Sure. Um, historically, around the world, uh, artists from underserved communities have, have been just that, underserved by the arts, and we are trying to make more opportunities available for people from different population groups. We want to represent the diversity of Oklahoma City. This is a very diverse city and Oklahoma City uh, Arts Council serves the entire city. So we are trying to provide opportunities for uh, young indigenous and black artists of color for this this uh, mural project. I love that. Let the art that we see reflect our own community. That exactly. makes that makes so much sense. So let's talk logistics here. How is it all going to work from, you know, where we are now with applications to walk me through the whole process? Sure. So applications are open now and artists can apply until August 31st. Mm -hmm. And then the murals will actually be painted in October and November. And then for the whole month of December, they'll be on display outside of Oklahoma City Hall. And people can actually vote for their favorite. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. So how will voting work then? I think it's all going to be online okay. and there will be more information with the murals and on the website too. But definitely want to get the public involved to okay. uh, check them out and vote for their favorite. That'll be so fun. Kind of an interactive thing too. Yeah, I love yes. it. And during the holidays time, it's going to be great. Um, I, I know the Oklahoma City Thunder are involved in this as well. Yes. We'll speak to that. Yeah. Very grateful to have their partnership and they've been great in supporting this project and the, the young artists that get involved. and. I think that is a definitely a pull for some of the artists to apply. They hear that the thunder is involved and that also helps um, reach a more diverse audience, I think. So we're really grateful to the thunder and we are painting at the farmer's market. I'm grateful for that too. So we have a lot of community partners that are helping us make this a reality. That is such like a cool area of town too, you know? Yeah. There's like so many up and coming businesses in that area. I love it. It really is just exploding in popularity. Um, and, and we mentioned at the top of the show, I mean, Oklahoma City is consistently ranked as one of the best cities for public art. And so what is your goal here in, in terms of kind of keeping that, that reputation going? How do, you, how do you see the future of our public art spaces going here in our city? Yeah, I think just the more artists that we can support and connect them with opportunities, the more artists there are going to be that are able to continue making public art. So I, I think we're really fortunate here in Oklahoma City to have a community that embraces and supports public art and artists. Oklahoma is a wonderful place to live as an artist. A great cost of living and so many opportunities and organizations supporting artists in their careers. I love to hear that. Okay, the big question, people are probably wondering, how can we apply deadlines again? Remind us of all the specifics here. So you can go to artscouncilokc.com and that is where the application is. It's right there on the home page. I believe the application deadline is August 31st okay. and any artist can apply. Um, it is uh, geared towards young indigenous artists of color like we've been discussing, uh, but there is no cost for entry for any artist. So all materials are provided and that is one of the main aspects of having a low barrier entry program. So. How wonderful. Let's get in our applications, everyone. Now until the 31st, painting begins October and November. Mm -hmm. December, we all get to enjoy the art and vote on it. It's going to be super fun. Make sure you guys keep us up to date on some of the progress. Send us pictures and stuff. We'd love to hear that. Yeah, definitely, definitely will. That. Thanks, guys, so much Thank for coming you. on today. All right, everyone, we're back after this. Stick around.